coordinator for Shang-Chi. Oh my gosh, man. Thanks for uh, the wonderful movie and the wonderful epic bus scene that's going to last forever. How does that feel? Uh, it feels so good, you know. Very, very thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think, yeah, uh, it got a good review and people really like it. So I think me and my brother, um, Brad Allen, uh, he passed away, but oh. we did a good job. Oh man, my condolences. Um, so I grew up uh, watching what we call here in the States Kung Fu Theater. Uh, and I have a few favorites. Uh, Master of the Flying Guillotine is one of my favorite movie. But w what is your favorite classic uh, Kung Fu movie or martial art movie? Classic, you mean how long the classic? You mean just if- uh, uh, Maybe from the 60s, it's 50s. <laughs> whoa, that's a very classic that I'll go to. Yeah, yeah. I think I would like the uh, Salem Temple 36 Tremble. Oh yeah, nice one, nice one. Yeah, Good that's choice. one of the, my uh, favorite one. But if we go back after a little bit, then I will say um, Junkie Master Two. Oh, so good! Yes, that those amazing. those two is always in my head. And you worked on Rush Hour uh, yeah. and, and a lot of uh, other films as well. What is your martial art style? Would you say my my real uh, background is Taekwondo. I compete for uh, Olympic style. Mm -hmm. So Taekwondo, I represent Hong Kong, you know, so um, when I'm young, you know, I fight yeah. for Taekwondo. And then when I start doing movie, then I start learning uh, Hong Kong movie style, you know, and then I come to Hollywood and then I do Hollywood though. So, so <laughs> Hollywood though. <laughs> so I mix up everything and then also learn, you know, I learn uh, uh, Wing Chun, Hong Chun, some Wushu, and then learn all the weapon. So that's my background. I learned tumbling, trembling, mini tram, you know, all kinds of stuff. Since I get into the business, I only know kicking. I don't, I know I'm not enough to, you know, to compare other people. So I have to learn everything. So my first six years, I think I learned multiple talent Why right after nice. I start knowing I need to learn more stuff. You talked about Hollywood though. Now yeah. some people like, is the fighting in this film or any other film, is it applicable for street fighting or, or stuff? Or is it pretty much no? What would you say? Or in the you middle? Mean, you, mean the, you mean the movie action the, for the street fight? Yeah. Do you think it's applicable a little bit uh, to real fight? No, I think everything. You know, if you say, you know, everything could be good if you, uh, you know, reaction, you know, and... Um, you know, fast enough to react, you know, what's coming, you know, even you play basketball or short curve, they can get into the, you know, for the fight scene. So of course you're doing something, the weapon or fighting, so you can apply on it, but I would, might suggest don't fight. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But sometimes, man, the bullies. Only for, only for movie, you know, making yeah. cool, you know, but you don't do the spinning kick or or seven twenty and the fight, <laughs> the people are gonna kill you. <laughs> but sometimes you encounter Loki or, or Thanos, and you want to kick them real quick before you run. I mean, you could, you know. But, <laughs> but, but like I said, you know, you have a big chance to you know, get into yourself in trouble if you're too fancy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, too fancy is is not good. Uh, yeah. As far as like, I saw an interview with you. You said that there was many alternate takes to the bus scene that everyone is talking about. Do you think we'll get to see some of that in the Blu-ray now that we have a chance of putting extra material? Do you know? You mean the outtake? Outtakes, maybe different yeah. uh, angles. Yeah, I think yeah. they will have something for behind the scene, and we'll see all the outtake and funny, you know, like, like the get get real. I think they will have something for sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's only the bus sequence that they'll be. Our old movie, I think they were picking, you know, they have the the one of the section is called uh, uh, Get Real. So it got to be the funny moment. Do you guys record the extras for the Blu-rays as you're making the actual movie or do you, or did you add anything after? I think they will add something on it because I'm not really involved in it, but I knowing they will be, have, uh, I mean, there's something for the, doing the production for sure. They have a lot of material, but then I think they could, you know, add on something if they think that they need. And then also, you know, they have the commentary, you know, from the director yeah. and um, you know, Dustin and then the writer, Dave, they will have the commentary with the movie. Okay. So that, that for sure is an add on. Yeah, and uh, I guess uh, uh, maybe I'm out of time here, but I'm going to go one more questions. Uh, uh, one more question for you is uh, 
Asia's always had superheroes, man, like with the old Kung Fu movies and, and stuff like that. But I'm going to ask you, did you, when did you get introduced to the Marvel heroes? Is that something you knew about or, or were into? How long ago did you uh, start reading Marvel comics? And maybe. How long are reading Marvel comics? Or when were you introduced to, to these characters? Kind when, of characters. When I young, you talk, yeah. you talk about like Spider-Man, that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's a very early, you know, I mean, the first thing for sure is for Spider-Man, you know, Superman, right? But Superman maybe from DC, maybe not from Marvel. But but then I think that that kind of superhero, you know, like Iron Man is the first one I really learning, oh, Marvel, mm. you know, because the first was Iron Man. And then since then, then we'll follow up with all the, you know, different character. But then when I uh follow up with also i follow up with the master of kung fu shang chi the original mm -hmm. comment i have those connection and that's one of my favorite because it's the first you know asian chinese superhero and based on bruce lee right okay. so that's that what i really enjoy in following it. and then when i got the opportunity to work on it i say mm, yeah this i'm i'm go for it because this is really like the first, you know, martial art movie in this kind of scale and platform. So, so uh, yes, Matt, uh, the movie comes out on digital platform November 12th, and it will be available on 4K Ultra Blu-ray on November 30th. That's when I'm going to get it. So I'm going to, uh, Sifu is master, right? Ah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you master. Go all right. Hey, look Go forward to seeing other of your movies too, because you do some great work, brother. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Yeah. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you.